Hello, Sam here with JBugs.com. In our last two video, we installed front and rear disc brakes on our 1971 Supermobile. And since we did, we need to install a large bore master cylinder. This is a must as the pistons on the calipers are much larger than the bores on the wheel cylinders, so they require more fluid in order to operate effectively. To start, we chalk the back end of the car, jack the front end up, and settle on jack stands. We pull off the front left wheel, so we can better show the process, and it does make the access easier, but isn't totally necessary. The two brake light switch harnesses are unplugged, and the front and rear brake lines are unthreaded from the master cylinder. The two reservoir feed hoses, in our case some oddly retrofitted pieces, are removed from the inlets, and since our brake fluid reservoir is empty, we don't need to worry about capping off the hoses. Make sure that you have some rags and a drain pan handy otherwise. Inside the car, the two bolts at the left and right of the master cylinder boot on the firewall are unthreaded. Then back under the car, the master cylinder is pulled from the chassis. Our new MP large bore master cylinder is prepped by installing two new, three-prong brake light switches. Then, with the help of an assistant inside to guide the brake pedal push rod into the boot and master cylinder, the master cylinder is slid back into place at the chassis. The two bolts inside the car can be tightened to secure the master cylinder in place. And underneath, the two feed hoses can be reconnected to the ports on the master cylinder. The front and rear brake lines can be threaded into place. And the two brake light switches are reconnected. Either harness can plug into either switch. Normally, we'd now begin bleeding our brakes, but we plan on pulling our car apart, so we're going to hold off on that for now. You can go back to some of our other videos where we cover bleeding the brakes if you're unsure of how that process goes. We do have one more video planned on our car where we'll address the rear suspension before we tear it apart, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click the like button below and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And as always, when you need brake parts or anything else for your vintage Volkswagen, head over to jbugs.com.